Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome to my garden. My name is Paul, this is It's a Camping Thing. And you join me on a late Friday afternoon video. This is a video I got no intention of making about an hour ago. I, uh, I was making a video this morning, it just wasn't working. I think I'd, I was getting tired because I'd been at work all night and it was just, uh, I was winding down. So I've had about four hours sleep, woke up, made myself a lovely cup of cappuccino and decided, you know what, I am actually going to make a video and I'm going to sleep out in the garden tonight and I'm going to be using the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 tent. And the reason why I'm going to be using that tent is because this is going to be the tent that I'm going to use on my first ever wild camp. I am really excited about it. So just to my left here, I've got three 30 litre dry bags and in that right now is everything that's been packed away. It's been packed, I've listed it, it's all been sorted. As I say, this was not going to happen. All this was going to be packed, ready to go. So it'd be nice just to set everything up in advance before I go away to make sure the fact that everything there is what I need and nothing else. Because I don't want to get to my location and go, ah, oh, I forgot something. By that time, it's too late. It's better to have a little bit of a practice out here in the garden. And yeah, I can't take everything with me that I would like. I would like to take like a chair, my Yeezy Go camping chair. I'm, I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'm going to be taking that as yet. That may appear, it may not, but we shall see. I'm sure I can get it with me when I go away. I can't tell you everything that I want to tell you because obviously the location of where I'm going to be going, the time I'm going to be going and all that is obviously something I've got to keep close to my chest. But yes, we are in the final countdown. Oh yeah, and one little thing, there may be times when uh, there's gonna be kids out in the garden enjoying the weather. It's gorgeous out here, it's Friday afternoon. There's gonna be kids in the garden, they're gonna be screaming, they're gonna be playing, and who can blame them? It's lovely out here. So there might be times where there's voiceover pool. So we're just gonna make sure that voiceover pool is activated. So voiceover pool, are you there? Yes, Paul, uh, voiceover pool here, ready for action. Yeah, yeah, he's there. So just to clarify why there might be some sort of booming voice coming from the middle of nowhere. There we go. 346 minutes later. So as you can see, the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 is now set up. We're now gonna have a little look inside and also air it out a little bit because it has been in a bag for a couple of weeks. And yeah, it's also good practice for me and my GoPro because this is my GoPro Hero 9. I'm shooting this at 4K, 30 frames per second for all of you that like your camera tech and your settings. Uh, I need two hands for this. And there we go, inside. I'm also shooting this on wide because obviously it's quite a small area. There we go. It's nice to be back in a tent actually. I've not been in a tent for a few weeks now and I've, I've really begun to feel it. I get that kind of lost feeling. I need to be in a tent. I need to go camping at least once a month. I love it, absolutely love it. Now, uh, somebody did actually say about there's one little fault with this tent and I've actually found a little bit of a solution. Maybe I need to go to super wide. Do you mind if I go super wide? Because it's just like really, yeah, I'm gonna go super wide. Just bear with me a second. There we go, super wide. It's just the field of view now looks a little bit better. So um, yeah, something about this door here where people say, well, you know, there's, there's nothing really to, to latch it onto. Well, actually, there is because there's a little toggle on here. And if you make double use of, where is it, at the top here, you can actually use that there. And then that's that part of the door all pinned out. And then this one, you've got to, you've got to roll this one up. We roll, we roll. Again, folks, I need two, I need two hands. And there we go. This is what I love about this tent. Now you see, this is the door. Look, here, here it is. And you've got all this access here. So literally you can open, open up this whole side of the tent, whole side of the tent. And you can do it on this door as well because they both work the same. I love two doors. If you saw my video about the Keshwa two seconds easy, and that one of my points was the fact that it has two doors. I love two doors. It just gives you that flexibility when you are probably using, say, this vestibule for cooking and, 
uh, maybe or storing gear it gives you access to the other side. Uh, we open up this. Wrap this one up. So that's all that one tied up, and then we go back to this side. And a little tiny toggle on. Right. And then what we need to do is we're going to hook this into this eyelet up here, which has already been used, but we'll give it a double use. And there we go. So now we have both inner doors opened up. And that, folks, gives us a massive door either side. And this door, you open that up. You can see Buster's Castle there that's being used for storage at the moment, but this tent is phenomenal. I love, love this part about the doors. But yeah, this is the door space. Look at it, it's, it's huge. Now I know that this camera is set to wide view, but yeah, you've got all this room. These vestibules are huge. Really impressed with this. Love the double doors, absolutely love that. Love the two vestibules. It's a fantastic little tent. It's not perfect, but it's, it is really, really good. I'll take you around. This door I need to pin back. I've not done that yet. But yeah. It's fantastic. It really is very well thought out. The only thing I don't like about it is this hood. Now, if we go from a top view, any rain which is going to come off here is going to go down here, down here. And if you've got the door open, that rain is going to go straight down straight down into your little bedroom. So if it's raining, this is a little bit, this could do with over, coming over a little bit, even if it hides a little bit that door, maybe come to say here. But it's, yeah, it's not, it's not perfect, but it is very good. Right, tent up, now I need to fill it with some gear. So the first things first is gonna be the foil mat, because unfortunately I don't have the money or the resources to pay for one of those third, um, expensive, mats that have uh, a high R value. I think we all know the ones we're talking about. I would love to in time, but at the moment, it's just not something I can, I can afford at the moment. <clears throat> Money being what it is. I've got my Trekology A-Luft UL80 sleeping pad. I have actually got another sleeping pad that I want to try out. It's, it's a couple of years old, but um, last time I remember using it, it was very comfortable. Now, I do have um, pumps, electric pumps for this. But for the purpose of this demonstration and the fact it's going to be wild camping and we need to be a little bit on the discreet side, I am going to use this X-PED. This is an X-PED pump sack. Now this I use to pack the tent in so this is going to be great because it's going to save on space and weight. There we go, X-PED. Again, it's a long time since I used it like this. Just hoping it works. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. And the reason why we use a pump sack is, folks, ants and blow. Well, I'll tell you anyway, it's because we don't want to introduce breath into our pad because obviously it's going to be moisture, bacteria, and we don't want mold growing and for our pad to become stinky after a time. Oh, what do we do with one of these? I can hear you say, well, we get a bag of air roll it all the way up and then no oh, i've got a blockage got a blockage so now we're going to add air into the pad use the ground Almost there already. So the bag I'm gonna be planning on using is called the Ultralight Pro 300. Now, yes, I do find this a little bit on the snug side, but I'm also on a diet. I need to go on a diet. And do you know what? I ain't gonna bother with anything else other than that. I'm only gonna use the one sleeping bag because 
we are heading towards June. Hello, voiceover Paul here. It was very loud when I was recording this, a lot of kids screaming. So that was my Yizzy Go camping chair, my bag of bags. I've got my food, clothes. I've got my jet ball zip in a corner along with another gas canister. I've got my Trekology pillows, my Trekology pad, and my Van Gogh Ultralight Pro sleeping bag. And then I've got a Keshwa lamp to finish off. Right, that's my voiceover duties done. I'm off down the pub. See ya. It's night time. It's night time. It's just gone 10 o'clock at night. I am whispering a little bit. So I hope you can hear me okay. Um, because it is the late. People have gone to bed. And yeah, um, having a beer. It's my weekend off. I get my weekends off. I work nights during the week. And it's just nice to be able to put the tent up and enjoy the stars that are out there tonight. But it's going to be about 7 degrees centigrade tonight, which isn't too bad. Now, this isn't just a dress rehearsal for using the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 and all the gear that I've chosen to use on this wild camp. But also as well, a test for me on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Because recently I purchased this camera. Uh, I've got the Media Mod, and also as well, I'm using my Rode Wireless Go, which is my wireless transmitter, which is just on here. And I'm getting used to it. I've got a GoPro Hero 7 Black, which is a few years old now, and that's a good camera. And yeah, it's just getting to learn the strengths and weaknesses. Yesterday I did a video out here in the garden, which I couldn't use because there was a sound of uh, interference. And I think it was a Bluetooth from my phone messing about with the microphones. Go on then. Da, 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 da. You come for cuddles? You have. So I want to see what's causing that as well, because obviously I don't want to go down that route again, maybe go on a trip, record a load of video, and then get back and then realise I can't use any of the footage because there's a really buzzing sound in the background. But yeah, it's, it's just me just getting used to this camera so that I can make better videos because I can know the strengths and weaknesses of the camera that I'm using. So anyway, for, anyway folks, I'm going to enjoy this bin and I'll show you inside the, inside the tent. A little longer than a few minutes later, Right, I'm going to show you inside the tent because uh, I can't really show you much out here because it's pretty dark. <laughs> but yes, inside the tent. So I've got my Yeezy Go folding camping chair. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be taking this. Uh, it's a possibility, it's a strong possibility, but we shall see. That's what all this is about because once this is over, I'll be packing it away and then the next time I use it will be on my trip. So inside, I've got my little Keshwa lamp at the top. I'm using my Trekology UL80 sleeping pad. I've decided to leave my 140 out of it because it's wide and space is at a premium. So this is the Bango Ultralight Pro 300 sleeping bag. And then as I say, I've got my Trekology UL80 sleeping pad. And then I've got my jet boil, jet boil zip stove as well. I've got a power bank which is also solar powered. Highly recommended that one. That was very good. I've got my GoPro case. This is the one that came with the GoPro Hero 9. Uh, chest strap again, just so I can show you around. That's what I was using earlier. I've also got earplugs. Essential. And because this isn't a blackout tent, and we know how much I love a blackout tent, I've also got a small bra. Um, I mean, eye mask. <laughs> um, Coffees, everyone says to me all oh, about coffees. I like to use the Kenko Duo Cappuccino. And I've got some sugar in there and a spoon. Food, I think you know which one I'm going to be talking about. It's the Wayfarer beans and sausages. Absolutely love those. And yeah, that is what else we got? Bottle of water, shoes, underwear, that sort of thing. That's mine pump sack from earlier and then in case I need to use the little boys room then yeah you catch the drift and that oh no we've got the pillows <laughs> how can I forget the pillows so I've got my two Trekology A Love 2.0 pillows just here and they are strapped onto my Trekology um, Trekology UL80 pad there. 
So that about covers it. I've got my eye mask, my ear plugs. That's what I'm going to put on next. And then I'm going to get myself into the sleeping bag. Now, um, I have said before about the fact that I like to use multiple sleeping bags because I like to keep warm. Well, when you're going to be wild camping, you've got to expect the fact that you might be a little bit on the cold side now. I'm going to just do my best. I've just got to limit down the amount of gear that I've got. But I think for tonight, I'm going to say I'm going to shut the tent down. And boy races tonight are bad. That's the one big disadvantage of camping in your garden. You've got noise going on. Cats. And... But it is what it is, folks. And as you can see, I'm safely tucked up for the night. I've got my Van Gogh sleeping bag, my Trekology Alof 2.0 pillow, and yeah, inside the Nature Hike Lab Peak 2. Awesome tent. I say I always love the two doors. <laughs> if you can have two doors rather than one, why not go for two? So there we go, folks. I'm now tucked away in bed. I'm really, really tired, so I'm going to say goodnight, and I'll see you in the morning bright and early because I need a cup of coffee and I need to take my dog out for a walk. So... I shall see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. It is, uh, what is it now? Almost half past five in the morning. I slept reasonable. The first couple of hours were a little bit difficult. I couldn't get, I couldn't seem to get my head right on these pillows. Uh, they, I've got a bit of a cold, and maybe that had something to do with it, but it felt like they were low, or I just couldn't get my head on them right, and... Yeah, I think that's got more to do with my cold than the pillars themselves, because right now they are really, really comfortable. And yeah, uh, they are a good good part of all this, this setup. But um, the sleeping bag is no, because that last night I was really cold. I've got my socks, my pants, a pair of shorts, a T-shirt and two fleeces, and I am still cold. Even now, I would say I'm probably a little bit on the cold side. Um, so even if it means the fact that I have to lose the chair to get everything in, I will be putting a more thicker, substantial sleeping bag into the into the kit rather than take this because this just I'm not going to be going camping and go. Well, it was alright, but I was cold all night. That's just not fun. Um, but other than that, everything else seems to work well. I think I've got the right kit. The the pad, the sleeping pad, the Trekology UL80, really comfortable, really good good comfortable night's sleep and yeah so I've learned a few things before I go on my wall camp which is really important really because I want to have a good time and yes of course there's going to be a degree of roughing it it is camping and wall camping at that but um, we all have our different preferences now and limitations and yeah the cold I don't like I really don't like it. so change your sleeping bag but other than that everything else is going to stay the same Right, I'm going to get out there and have a cup of coffee, so I shall see you outside in a moment. Oh, wow. So I'm using my Jetboil Zip as opposed to my Jetboil Mini Mo. It's just a little bit more compact. I've got my Sea to Summit X mug, which flattens down to literally nothing. And I'm using Kenko Duo because it just saves the fat with the milk. You get it all in one little tub, two, co uh, two foil covers, one for the milk or the, the froth, and then the bottom one for the coffee. It just saves a lot of carrying around with other stuff. It's all in one, all you gotta do is just add sugar. So that is fantastic, Kenko Duo. Keep an eye out for that. 
Uh, so the, the X mug, I've used that plenty of times in the past. It's just a, a great space saver. And if you're going to be using a mug from home, then you've got a, a risk of breaking it. With this, it's food grade silicon. If you do drop it, it's just going to bounce. The jet boil zip, I've used that plenty of times. Um, I initially purchased it just for this channel, really, uh, and a little bit out of intrigue. Got the Mini Mo, that's supposed to be like their market leader, but uh, this one just serves me just as good. It's just not as good for cooking. That's the only downside with it because you haven't got a simmer control. With this, it's either boiling or off. Right, that's my that's my water board. Cheers, everyone. You know, I, was, I was thinking just a moment or two ago about that I'm lucky to have a garden and I know not everyone's that fortunate, but if you're interested in going camping, whether it be campsite camping or, or wild camping and you've got a garden, use it. Stick your tent up in your garden and, and try and work out what gear that you're going to be taking. It saves so much faff in the end. I mean, when I first started camping, I was taking everything bar in the kitchen sink. And it was ridiculous, because you think you're going to need these, these, these items and you just don't use them, and then it becomes clutter, gets in the way of trying to find the stuff that you really do need. Now, I know I, I, I review a lot of products on this channel. I, I do. Um, but you've got to find what's right for you, and I think that's where YouTube does come in handy, really, because we can see a product on, on, on online or maybe in a store, in a camping store, and we think that, yeah, that, that's going to be our needs. But you see them on YouTube and you actually work out, oh, maybe that's not quite the one. And there's nothing worse than wasting money or taking too much gear. There's a thing called gear acquisition, where we all think that we keep buying stuff, it's going to improve our camping experience. And actually, for me, I find that buying the right gear and being sensible about it is, is the better option because you don't want to waste money. And also as well, you don't want to be taking so much stuff for the fact that you can't find that essential gear that you do want to take. So you need to be careful. And that's why I think YouTube is an invaluable tool where people like myself can share videos of products that we've bought. And sometimes we don't get it right. There's, there's products that are in my loft right now that I'm never going to show because I think they're rubbish. And I'm not here to slate companies off. If, if I think a product's good, then I'll show it. Um, but if it, a, a product's terrible, it's just not going to see the light of day on here. I'm just not going to give it a time of day. But yeah, folks, if you've, got a, if you've got a garden, if you're lucky enough to have a garden, then use it. Sit your tent out and, and just play around with different, different sleeping bags, different, different bits of kit. I mean, I've changed the light. I was going to take a big lantern lamp, and I realised the, the little tiny one produces as good enough, if not better, light than the other one, and it saves on space. Um, as I said earlier, I said yesterday that this chair, maybe I might not take it, but thinking about it, just talking to you like this, I'm thinking actually I might well. Right now, what I'm thinking about is this cappuccino. Drink this, enjoy that sunrise, listen to dawn chorus, and have a great start to the day. So I oh, shall catch you later on. Okay, you're gonna have a look inside the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 again. I've uh, emptied it out inside. You have a little look, there we go. Uh, there's plenty of room in here. Absolutely fantastic tent. And that that you're looking at there, that's a pocket. And yeah, one of my favorite tents actually. Very, very good. But I've opened both doors to allow a, a stream of air to come through the tent to dry it out because this tent is gonna come down for tonight because we're expecting storms tonight. And yeah, <laughs> I don't want it getting wet at all. It needs to dry out the best way it can. 
it's a fantastic tent, it really is. Uh, not perfect, but, but good, good enough. Well, folks, that's another video wrapped up, and indeed the tent. It's just gone seven o'clock at night, and I've just got to say a huge thank you to two wonderful people, namely James and Carly. Totally unexpected birthday card present. It's not my birthday just yet, but I haven't seen them for a while. I really have actually missed them. I've, they're lovely people. I've known James since primary school, and yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you to them. Lovely, lovely people, and that was just totally unexpected. I was actually out here filming when they knocked on the door. Buster went barking mad. Back to the camping. Um, last night was not a failure. I was cold, yes. My sleeping bag was not substantial. I know I need to improve that, but I came out here last night. I gave it a go with the gear that I thought that I was gonna be taking. The tent was fine. Everything was fine apart from the sleeping bag. It was not substantial enough. So when I do go wild camping, I'm going to be using a much more substantial sleeping bag. I'm gonna be using jogging pants rather than shorts. And I'm also, well, you probably noticed that I'm actually well, a little bit follically challenged. So I'm going to be using a beanie hat with a little light on the front. I've shown it on this channel before. Um, so again, last night I learned. Using the garden, last night I learned. And it means the fact that when I do go on this trip, the fact that I can have a more successful and happier trip because all this knowledge that I've accumulated. And that's what those wild camp practices were like in the winter. I was nailing down what tent I was going to be using. Do I need this? Do I need that? And there's still a bit of a question mark over the chair, the years ago folding camping chair. I love that, I absolutely love it. But let's be honest, it is a luxury. I could sit on a log or maybe a stone or whatever's lying around, just on the floor. Um, I would like to take it, but I'm not sure whether I'm gonna be taking that yet. And I was actually gonna feature a little bit more about that on this video, but the beauty of editing a video whilst filming it simultaneously with one camera and another camera is the fact that I noticed that when I was editing this, this video was going on a bit. It was about 26 minutes the last time I looked. So apologies on that. So I'm not gonna include the extra bit about the Yeezy Go folding camping chair or indeed the C to Summit X mug. I'll talk about them more in another video. And that also brings me to the fact that if you're watching this right now, thank you. Thank you for watching this at this point because um, it really does help the channel. Not only is it about subscribers, but how long people stay and watch. So if you're watching this, you are incredible. Thank you. I know I like to babble and I try and put time lapses in. And I talk and talk and talk and it, YouTube is not easy, but uh, I'm trying my best and I will try and cut down the video length. So yeah, all it leads me to say is thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you found this video in any way helpful, maybe entertaining, please consider leaving a like dropping a comment and subscribing to the channel, clicking on that little bell icon to be notified of all future video releases. And yeah, I hope to go wild camping very soon. As I say, it's, it, 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 it's getting close. I can almost touch it. It's like, it's there. I, can, I can't wait. I really can't wait. So yeah, once again, folks, thank you for watching. And to James and Carly, once again, thank you. That was just really lovely of you. Uh, keep an eye out for the video on the C to Summit X mug and the Trekology chair. I'll be posting that again soon. At the moment, I'm trying to get one video out a week. It's hard. <laughs> it's not easy. But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for those videos. See you, folks. Take care.